the game was like over macro wise by the time exactly. he, he made two plays but he did make two significant plays with that package and that was actually impressive that's fair. which is why i like him bringing it to the table it adds another play onto for biven all right what you want to do is hex so he can't w out or e out gets yes. it right on time the cocoon as well first blood over to ryu could not have been played better fair of him Respect Ryu as a good player. You don't do that. You don't walk into it. 2K may be put in a bad position if he tries to go for this one because Featherman jumps in looking for the Frozen Tomb. Isn't able to get it because of the spell shield. The flash into the knockup from Noxiac though. Knocks Ryu into the team. He'll have to flash away. But there is the Frozen Tomb. Can't burst him down before the Wild Grove comes up though. And Yankos being chased into the jungle. Now Odawan, they arrive. Does he have the damage to deal with Wreckers? The rest of the team is dead. And Fnatic annihilate H2K in that fight. Ace for Fnatic. Big, big team fight. And this is what we're talking about. Yeah, H2K. So, and maybe H can, uh, H2K can do something here. All right, good, good couple good things here. Hang on, we'll explain it later, because Cabo is split pushing, Baron gets started again. And the Baron should be going down, but H2K are coming in here, and a lot of members from Fnatic are already poked out. Odoam, they now heading into this fight, using that ward at the back of the pin. The Baron, who is it going to go over to? The Baron goes over to Callista, ran over to Fnatic, but now the rest of the team is getting chunked out. Odoam, they flashes away from the pin, but Reckless goes out, and Spirit not able to save him with the Lambs respite. He even has to step out of there, and Odoam, only Gamsu is remaining. The last kill prior to this fight was at 19 minutes in the play. Somewhat stasis. safely do it. Stasis up? Yeah, they have Stasis uh, on Feverburn. They have like Unbreakable on Alistar. You see Orwam is winning the split, which he's slowly whittling away at Tad Inhibitor. And then whenever he gets chunked, he just lashes on the minions. Uh, we see a hard engage reaction for Fnatic. And Noxiac gonna try and make it happen, gets a knockup onto Ryu and Vanda. Can the team follow up those spirits coming in here? But Noxiac taking a bunch of damage even through his ultimate. The oh. binding does not land. Odawama in the back lines. Gonna start dueling Gamsu. He's by himself. Mitigates some of the damage with the Repos. Duels back into his team. Febbin with the re-engage with the ultimate on himself to get some of that healing down. And Odawama is out of mana. He's trying to escape from this fight. Ryu will go down. And Odawama is unable to run away. Vanda being chased in. And oh. it's all good going wrong for H2K. H2K just threw the game. Oduwame, if he does not teleport, he can he can end the game. I'm pretty sure he could have ended the game because Gamsu, no teleport, he left the lane, and there was a moment in that fight where H2K could choose to not commit, get out of there because the, they made a pincer. They could have just disengaged, stalled the backs. I think Oduwame could have straight up ended the game right there on the Fiora. If not, take two Nexus Towers and Fnatic, they may be at risk of ending the game themselves here. 30 seconds on both Fiora and Ryu. And Hibata goes down, but there's still two people able to defend this push. They're doubting. And the minion is coming. Uh, the going wave for is it. coming in. They don't have the Baron wave, though. And Forgiven gets a good ultimate off into the back line of minions. Noxiac goes in with a face call, though. Able to get the CC up. That's the first next turret going down. That's and it focuses takes this one out. Spirit going into the ultimate. And Forgiven, he can't do anything about it. And Fnatic are actually going to end this game 41 minutes in. And they take the win over H2K.